Sometimes in life there are defining moments that change the course of your life forever. For me, that point came last November. The war in Syria had been raging for over six years and in the space of one weekend in besieged eastern Aleppo, five hospitals were bombed out of existence. Help can't come soon enough. The intense bombing campaign continues in Aleppo. And the bombs are still falling there. The only children's hospital in eastern Aleppo was bombed, witnesses say. I knew that we needed something that we could all contribute to. And that's how the People's Convoy campaign was born. With you now is the British Syrian doctor, Rola Halam, and you are seeking to establish a new hospital mm -hmm. outside this area of conflict. Mm -hmm. The money that we're raising via crowdfunds will be, um, will buy equipment and we will be physically taking it on the convoy that leaves on Saturday the 17th um, to go and deliver it to our Syrian partners. We had no idea that the campaign would go viral. 5,000 people from over 10 countries from around the world raised an incredible quarter of a million pounds in just under two weeks. It's happened, it's launch day. I'm just so, I'm so moved, I'm so emotional, I'm so happy. This is the humanity coming together and making this beautiful positive action. Wow, I think I could cry. The convoy is partnered up with the Independent Doctors Association. Imagine that this is the seventh time they're rebuilding this hospital the courage and resilience of them and humanitarians in Syria is truly mind-blowing. In fact, local humanitarians like the IDA do the majority of the humanitarian work in Syria, but they get a measly 1% of the funding. And that's why at CANDU we partner up with these local groups and help them to crowdfund what they need. We did it. It was a really emotional union with the Independent Doctors Association. They told us that them and so many Syrians had lost hope and we had renewed that so much so that they're going to call the hospital Hope Hospital. I love that the hospital is called Hope Hospital. Hope is so important, it makes us believe in possibilities makes us believe that we can make a difference. I think if we can harness that hope and turn it into action, then together we can move mountains.